Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mizami. I'm from Singapore and I'm a live streamer here on YouTube. Uh, I started live streaming on this platform like uh, in November last year. So just a quick update on uh, our follow up on what happened yesterday with regards to uh, Private Lock Megadon. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. Uh, YouTube basically put a lot of VODs of live streamers into a Private Lock uh, visibility mode, which prevents basically prevents them from being monetized or seen by the public. Now, of course, uh, two minutes after I uploaded yesterday's video, which you can see, I'm probably going to link it here somewhere. YouTube actually announced that uh, they, they were aware of this problem. They were aware of this glitch and they are working on a fix. So that was 17 hours ago at this time of recording. Uh, and of course, that was just like two minutes after I uploaded yesterday's video. But in any case, uh, YouTube said this on their team YouTube channel on uh, Twitter. Saying that, hi creators, this was fixed and no more videos should be set as private now. Our teams are working on a fix for videos that were mistakenly set to private. A lot of people were like responding saying that, you know, they, they've got screenshots and things like that on, on what actually happened. You can see a lot of people have got their, their content private locked for no reason at all. Um, and they all received the same email saying that uh, there's this um, uh, violation of some kind of uh, scams policy or something like that. Which, of course, uh, is not true for the most part. A lot of creators have got their content all locked out. For no reason all right so so basically youtube managed to find that uh managed to find out that there was indeed a glitch and they uh were working to resolve this issue uh so following up on what happened uh after that uh youtube actually said that uh if your videos are still set to private we've got you our team is working to get everything back to normal now this was 15 hours before today's recording of this video that you're watching right now uh and after that they quickly follow up with another tweet saying that follow up yet again you should now be able to change your video privacy settings if you uploaded any time after 7 p.m pst yesterday and today before 3 20 a.m pst you may need to manually change those videos back to unlisted or public now of course it can sound like a very tedious thing to do because for some people they may have like hundreds uh, or thousands of vods you know i i, I don't know <laughs> uh for me because i live stream almost every day i do have like about 50 videos to sort out in fact uh based on the emails i received from them yesterday i've got 50 videos which were set wrongfully as private locked by youtube's uh bot <laughs> like i said the bot just went skynet and decide to like uh destroy humanity one youtube vod at a time so um this is uh something that the youtube team has actually announced that it is an official thing that they, they realized there was indeed a glitch they decided to like uh work on it and i think everything should be resolved so um about 10 hours ago um i actually checked my youtube studio um and i realized that nothing has changed yet i guess uh, they were rolling out the fix, um, you know, slowly across the world. And uh, there were some people who actually told me via my previous uh, video that uh, they are still having this issue. But I think it should be resolved now, more or less, because uh, if I look at my own uh, YouTube studio right now, you can see here that most of my videos are set to private. They are no longer under private lock like yesterday. So what I can do and what you guys can do as well, once you feel that you know the resolution has taken place, uh, or maybe YouTube has resolved this problem. Uh, you can actually, instead of doing it one by one, make sure you select a whole bunch of them, but, but be very careful not to um, set to public the videos that you want to keep private. So make sure that you check which videos are the ones that you want to make public. All right. So in my case, I, I, I think I've got plenty of videos here. We shouldn't be made uh we shouldn't be made private lock they can make pub uh, public or unlisted uh which is what i guess is the best practice for live streaming uh vods because you do not want to clog up your uploads uh uploads category right so um i've selected quite a few files here or rather a few vods here now instead of going one by one here like like like, like so you know like switching uh the visibility from private to unlisted what i can do is i select all of the videos or all the vods that i want to set back to public or unlisted go and uh, tick all of them click on edit all right and uh, and look for visibility once you go to visibility all right you'll be given this dialogue over here uh you see that there's private now it doesn't show private lock uh, or anything like that and it's no longer grayed out you can actually change your visibility settings now i'm going to set them all to unlisted all right then once i set to unlisted i just have to click on update videos and then youtube gives you a new dialogue prompt saying that are you sure you've uh, you're about to update the selected videos this update cannot be stopped once it has started. Well, you go like, yeah, sure, whatever. I understand the implications of this action. Make sure that you are careful with selection of your votes first, guys. Once that is done, click on update videos and that's it, right? It says here, update will begin in a few moments. Updating videos is safe to navigate away. Wait before making another bulk update. And there you have it. Uh, once that is done, just refresh your browser or you just wait until it turns to unlisted and, and you should be fine. So that's about it. 
um hope you guys are able to get back your votes um for those of you guys who have issues with channel still please reach out to team youtube on their twitter so yeah that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for dropping by uh, i just want to give you guys a quick follow-up as to what happened yesterday from my own perspective my own experiences but if you guys got your own experiences to share feel free to leave them in the comments uh and if you guys haven't feel free to hit the like button or hit the subscribe button because that would really help <laughs> it doesn't cost a thing all right so uh till the next time i see you guys i'll see you when i see you on my next stream stay safe take care have a good weekend bye